everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little gift bag out of an envelope. Today we're going to be using these envelopes from Hero Arts from the Hero Hues line. And they come in all different really pretty colors. These are so nice to use for this technique. The first step is to go ahead and seal the flap of your envelope. I like to use a dry adhesive for this, but you could also use a glue stick. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is score your envelope to make the sides and the bottom of the gift bag. And I drew lines on this one so that you could really see. It's just an inch on the left and the right, and then an inch on the bottom. And you can use a ruler and a bone folder for this, or you could use your favorite scoring tool like a score pal, whatever works best for you. Then you're going to want to go ahead and stamp on your envelope. And I wanted to show you a little trick here with these leaves. Let me bend these sides up so that you can see a little bit better. Having the score lines here lets you place smaller images so that they'll show up nicely on the front of the bag. So the front of the bag is going to be this area right in here, as you can see on this finished sample. And this way you can kind of see where it, where it will be to position it. And then I wanted to say one quick word about using the large background stamps, like this large cobweb stamp. Um, these stamps are meant to cover a card in one swoop. So they'll cover the whole front of a card in one swoop, but envelopes are bigger than cards so that the card can fit inside naturally. So you won't be able to cover the whole envelope with one stamp like this, but that doesn't really bother me. It, like you can leave it a little bit off the top and that doesn't matter because we're going to cut the top part off and the sides will be hidden by the folds of the gift bag. So here you can see where it's hidden down in the sides there so nobody will really notice it. So the next step is you're going to want to take a bone folder and your fingers and you're going to really want to score all of those fold lines really well. Do it both directions on each side. And you'll see why this is important later when we go to fold the bag. Okay, so now the next step is going to be to cut this top part off. And you can use decorative scissors for this or just cut it off with your uh, trim paper trimmer. But I like to just tear it because I think it adds a nice look. And the way I do it is I flip the envelope over to the back and I'll go ahead and tear the top and this leaves this nice white edge. I hope you can see it there. But you just go ahead and tear it and by flipping it to the back you'll get this nice white edge when you fold the gift bag and put it all together. So you'll see the white on there. If you tore it from this side you can see it doesn't show the white if you tore it from the front. So always tear from the back and then we're coming to the part where we just uh, fold the gift bag and this part goes really fast so you can totally use this technique for making um, favors for showers or weddings or parties but I'm gonna try and do it as slowly as I can so that you can see and you can always rewind if I go too fast but I'm gonna try and go really slow so what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take your hand and put it inside the envelope, and this will open it up, and you just kinda of put your hand in the whole way, and then you're going to push the sides down, like so, see how it's pushed down? So do that on both sides, and then you're going to flip it and push the bottom in, so you're pushing in the bottom of the gift bag, and then I wanted you to see what's happening. So you're starting to make the bottom flaps here. See how it's kind of like these little triangles are forming? I think they kind of look like bunny ears or something. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold these to a point. And the way I do it is I put my thumb on one end like this and then I take my other thumb and I just press down. So let me turn this so you can see how I'm pressing. I just press down and it folds it right into a point. So here you can see the difference between this one that I just did and the one that I haven't done yet. 
And you can see by making these scores really well in both directions, this goes so, it goes so fast and so easy. So here I'll do this other side. So now it's kind of poofed out like this. I'm just gonna put my thumb at the top part and then take my other thumb and just press that like so. And I'm just kind of like pulling like that. So holding with this thumb and this thumb and just pulling it to a point like so. And here you can see both of them are there. Then you're gonna wanna take your adhesive and put some adhesive on each um, flap, like so. Then you're gonna fold these towards the center. Oop, didn't get enough on there. Put some more on later. And uh, But then just for the sake of time, what you'll do is you'll put the bag face down and then just put your hand in and then you can um, press the flap so that they're really securely on there with your adhesive. Now we're going to do the sides of the bag. And that one's going to be stubborn, isn't it? Okay, pardon me while I put some more adhesive on. Okay, so we're back and I put more adhesive on the offending flap. Okay, so now what we're going to do is fold the sides. And the way you do that is just run your finger, just like run your finger along the fold and it presses it right in place, just like that. And so you can see both sides are folded. And then the next step is to fold the flap over like so. And then you have your gift bag. And I should say before you seal your bag up, so before you close it, you'll wanna put your little goodies in here. So whether you're putting in candy or I like to put like strips of gems or like felt or stickers or whatever fun things you're putting inside, maybe a stamp, do that before you seal it because I have gotten carried away and sealed the bag before I put anything in. But anyway, I'll show you some options for closing the bag. Um, this one, I just punched two holes at the top and then tied it closed with ribbon. So that's one option. And then another option I use on this bag and that was to just add a message. And I just sealed the whole bag up. So the way I did this was I just ran some adhesive along here and folded it over to close it. And then you'll want to open it up and then put some more adhesive in here and then um, fold that over so it's all sealed too. And there you have it. Thanks for watching and I hope you try this gift bag envelope technique soon.